representing women will be paraded for the first time ever at Durham Miners Gala. The newly formed Women's Banner Group aims to recognise the work done by female family members during the miners' strike, as well as the current and future roles of women in the county. And while they finish off work on one patchwork banner to be paraded in Scotland in June, work starts tomorrow on the silk banner for July's gala. Ian Wood reports. It's long been a show of solidarity. The silk banner, which started out as a marker for each lodge of the Durham Miners Association and used to proclaim pride, solidarity and aspirations. Pictures of the Durham Miners Gala show the banners in all their glory and the antiquity of the tradition is hinted at in this clip of newsreel footage from British Pathé in 1935. The miners of Wheatley Hill, with their banners and their band, are marching to Durham for the big meeting and from all other parts of the county too. They're coming in their thousands. But in its almost 150-year history, a banner made by women for women has never been officially part of the Miners' Gala. Heather Wood ran the free cafe in Easington during the year-long miners' strike of 1984-85. Her collection of donation letters on loan to Beamish Museum is a reminder of the struggle families faced. My dad being a miner and me being privileged to be part of a mining community where women were strong, so that led you to be strong. The women who ran the free cafes provided inspiration for Laura Daly, the women's officer for the Sedgefield Labour Party. She founded the Women's Banner Group after finding out there'd never actually been one affiliated with the Durham Miners Association. It did start out all about the pits and all about the free cafes and, and what women did to keep their communities alive. And it sort of developed on from that. And the women involved now have something to say. They've got causes that they're passionate about. The Women's Banner Group is working on two banners, a patchwork depicting women of the past and the future and overseen by quilter Mary Turner, who helped local women tap into their ideas, drawing on their heritage. A lot of the women, when they started, it was, I'm not artistic, I can't sew. And just through chatting and getting people to express ideas, so many of the women have come up with some really fabulous designs. The banner Mary's been working on will go on parade in Edinburgh at an event called Processions, and it's one of a number of public marches across the UK on the 10th of June. This celebrates the fight for suffrage and expresses what it means to be a woman today. And this Monday, the Women's Banner Group starts work on the silk banner behind which women from across the Northeast are invited to march at the Miners' Gala in July. It'll be blessed at Durham Cathedral on the day. All in all, it'll be a special moment, particularly for Heather Wood. It has always been remembered what women did, but um, I think to be publicly acknowledged in this way, to be accepted as uh, associated with the uh, Durham Miners Association, that's a big thing in itself. And I just feel privileged and proud to be part of it. The Women's Silk Banner will be unveiled on the 11th of June, ready for parade at the Miners' Gala on the 14th of July.